Yo, 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 yo,
<laughs> see, I, I did it. See, I did it the right way. My wife is a little Jamaican, a little Spanish, and a little. Uh, She's from Spain. No, Puerto Rican, and a little Asian. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you married a multi-ethnic woman. There you go. To have multi-ethnic children. There you go. Let's, gotcha. And we don't really mess with black chicks. Just stop it. Here we go. We got front page news coming up, and she's black. <laughs> yes, we are going to talk about a cop that killed himself. This is a very tragic story about being harassed in the workplace. You sure you just didn't see his check and saw that uh, Social Security payroll tax and how much money they took out? Stop and like, it. Man, it ain't worth being It's not funny. Stop mm -hmm. it. We'll talk about it when we come back. Front page news up next. Let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge, 5 minutes from 8095 Express. Lincoln Tunnel, 5 minutes in. Highland Tunnel looks okay. It's Appleseed Bridge, 45 mile per hour speed restrictions due to the weather. To clean up the bar place in the last night. Yeah, pretty nasty. That's what they did. Now let's talk about the cop that uh, committed suicide, Yee. Yeah, this is a really sad story. So it was a Queens cop and... <sighs> Officer Matthew Schindler was forced to have sex with his supervisor. His supervisor is Sergeant Christine Herzl, and that was how she determined what his workload and what his schedule would be. So they said that he would suffer detriment in his job assignments and his work conditions if he didn't submit to her sexual advances. Mm. At some point, he asked for the affair to stop, and he threatened to kill himself over the guilt of it because he's married, mm -hmm. and she refused to allow him to stop. And that's when he went and killed himself with a NYPD service pistol that same day. His wife is now suing the city, the NYPD, and Herzl for violating her husband's civil rights. That's crazy. She must be terrible looking. The, pic the chick he was cheating with. Why do you say that? I don't think it's all about that. You got a picture of him? Can you? No, but why no, do you say that? No, a picture of him and his wife. But, um, um, why do you say she got to look terrible? For a guy to kill himself? I mean, it wasn't the fact that how she looks. It's the fact some that the guilt that he put on her. Yeah, put some people don't want to, that are married, don't want to have to be forced to cheat on the their wife that he felt bad. to keep their job. He probably couldn't live with the fact that he just felt that bad. It had nothing to do with how she looks. She could have looked amazing, but that wasn't the point. You know, some people could look great and be so ugly that they're not attractive. That's an ugly thing. Yeah. Imagine if one of our bosses, former bosses, had tried to persuade you to have sex every day to keep your job. To determine how much you got paid. I've been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> what former boss of yours uh, forced you to have sex? Shut up. All right, well, let's keep him. Because you. <laughs> Your former boss in Philly Shut up. Was don't, be, don't be disrespectful. Just uh, shut your up. Your former boss in Philly was up. You said it. Your former boss in. All right, hey. never mind. Now, uh, Mante is back. Manti, actually, is his oh, name. My bad. <laughs> and the mastermind behind this fake girlfriend hoax is now saying that he was actually in love with Manti Teo, Renaya Tuasasopo. He did an interview with Dr. <laughs> what's the, Phil. What's the name again? Renaya Tuasasopo. You, you, ain't you ain't pronouncing that right, but guess what? <laughs> Even if you weren't, we wouldn't know. I am saying it right. We definitely wouldn't know. Go ahead. I am saying it Mataya right. Manti Tuasasopo. Let's go. Anyway, Dr. Phil asked him, was this a romantic relationship? And he replied, yes. And then Dr. Phil said, are you gay? And the guy said, when you put it that way, yes. Because, you know, he was very attached to Manti Teo. He said he wanted to end the charade, but he couldn't. He said, you know, Manti and Lene, that's the fake woman, would break up, but they would get back together depending on what was going on in Lene's life. And he said in, in one instance he wanted to end it after everything he had went through. He realized he had to move on and let it go, but... We, we got to stop giving that guy attention. You got to treat him like a hoax. If, we, if we're not sure that he exists, don't interview him. Right. Dr. Phil ain't interviewing Sasquatch, so don't interview, uh, what's his name? Masai Masai. Yeah, Masai Masai. Him, whatever. Say. Yeah. Good, good Don't job, interview guys. him. Because you know why? Because all he wants is attention now. Next thing you know, he's going to have a book. And if I was him, I'd put out a book full of blank pages. It would have a cover <laughs> in blank pages. The book don't even exist like him. <laughs> he said, I don't know if I'm gay. I, I can't figure it out. Ain't right. nothing wrong with being a little gay. Everybody's a little gay. I can figure it out. Put a penis in your face. Do you get a wreck when you see a penis? Then you're probably gay. And that's front page news. <laughs> Tell them why you're mad is up next. It's going to be a long show. I see it already. 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vet. Call us right now. Maybe somebody pissed you off. Uh, maybe somebody cut you off. Whatever it is. If you're upset, it's your time to vent. 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Level Power 1051. It's Rihanna. What drug you on, baby? Come on, tell the truth. What drug you on? I don't know drugs, Charlamagne. You smoke some weed? No, I ain't smoke no weed. I shut up. You been drinking? That would have put you to sleep. Nah, I wasn't drinking. You should just watch some porn and go to sleep. Yeah, and masturbate. Out, huh? Masturbate, knock you right out. Sherelle, tell them why you mad. I'm mad as hell because my son got into a fight uh -oh. like, on the bus at, at school because this little boy going to call my son a light-skinned ass 
punk. So oh why why gosh. you didn't just go sit on everybody? You should have just went on the bus and sat on all the Charlie, kids. Charlie, shut the hell up, okay? I am not in a joking mood. No, you tell me, Yeah, it's not funny, Charlie. For real, his son? First of all, ugly, my son's not a troublemaker. My son's a peacemaker, and he's sick. Well, yeah. Sherelle, he's not a peacemaker if he got into a fight. But Sherelle. you taught him to defend himself, and that's the right thing. And, Sherelle, I want to say thanks for coming back. We haven't heard from you in a long time. Yeah, and I know your son probably ain't as big as you. I mean, nobody on the planet is oh, as big as you. Oh, stop it, Charlie. Sherelle. Man, she's not but in a he, joking mood. He can learn to defend himself. Sherelle. Sherelle, Sherelle you know it's Envy's fault. That's why your son's getting beat up. No, it's not. Why? Mm -hmm. Because light skin? No, yes. it's not. Sherelle. It's your fault. Sherelle, you know Now, what? because of you, everybody Sherelle's thinks that light skin people are punks. But she can hear it. Sherelle, you definitely go down to the school and you tell them that your, your son was defending himself and, and that. But that's what happens when and, you have and, a fat mama. That. When you got a fat mama, kids Stop. will tease you about your fat mama. And then you're going to end up getting fights all the tell time. Tell them why you're mad. 800 585 1051. If you're upset, you need to vet. Call us right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Hey, yo, this is DMX. And you know what makes me mad? Ask for the truth, but can't handle the truth. All right? Now tell them why you mad on the Breakfast Club. Power 1051. Breakfast Club, bitches. Mike, tell them why you mad, Mike. I'm mad because my dispatcher, Kenya, be screaming on me. I mean, I don't know. I think she loved me on the inside, though. I don't know, man. I don't is, know. Is she having sex with you to make you keep your job? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> What you complaining about, man? Go put something in her mouth. Oh, stop it. Oh, yo, Solomon, you the man, sir. I love you. I don't understand y'all guys no more, man. Y'all just getting weak out here. Hello, man. who's this? Monty. Monty, tell him why you mad. Because I'm sick. I got it from somebody at school. Oh, you got to start using condoms, bro. What kind of sick are you? Fever sick. Oh, flu? No, fever. You got to start using condoms, bro. You sound depressed. Because I got it from somebody at school who decided to come to school while sick. You got to start using condoms, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should stop kissing in the mouth. I don't kiss in the mouth. You got to start using condoms, bro. But where do you kiss? Did your, did your boyfriend give it to you? <laughs> no. You got to start using condoms, yeah, bro. Yeah, your boyfriend gave it to you. All right, well, you know, hey. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, all right. You, you got to start using condoms, bro. That's all you going to say, Charlemagne? You got to start Hello? using condoms, bro. Nicole, tell him why you mad. I'm mad because my boyfriend broke up with me. Yes. Why he broke up with you? Why are you saying yes? <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I like to see girls hurt and miserable. <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> Nicole, why he broke up with you? I don't know. He just left. Did he change his Facebook status to single yet? No, actually, he deleted it. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> don't say that, Nicole. Why Why did he do that? Is Did you gain a little extra weight? Were you not treating him right? What happened? No, I figured he left me for someone else. You How long were you with him? For 10 months. Oh, let me tell you the harsh reality of it. Your box is whack. Your mouth game is weak. So he left you for somebody else. That's no, all. sorry. That is not the problem. That is definitely the case, boo. If you had some good box, he wouldn't have left you. He might have no. cheated on you, but he wouldn't have left you. Well, get ready yeah. for summer because you know what? That's the perfect time to be single. Not with her stomach. Oh, stop Yes, it, it is. Nicole, have a good morning. <laughs> Don't let Charlamagne get to you, all right? Okay. Tell them why you're mad. We do every morning at 6 a.m., 800-585-1051. Now, yee. Yes, Envy. We got rumors coming up? Yes, and let's talk about a picture they're trying to sell, a naked picture for about $150,000, and I'm sure you want to see this one. Not for no hundred and fifty. dollars It was a recent guest up here on The Breakfast Club. All vaginas look the same. Oh, boy. When it comes to that type of thing. Not his. All right. His. What? What? <laughs> All right, we find out in 10 minutes. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Yo. It's Power 1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's naked get into the rumors. Scandal. Let's find out about this naked picture. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report with Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. So, a financial entrepreneur purchased some storage lockers, and he got some nude photos that are unpublished, and one of those people is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, they are offering $150,000 so far for this picture of his naked penis. So, you're trying to tell me that the Terminator just had naked pictures of himself sitting around in the storage locker somewhere? Yep. Why? It was um, a storage locker owned by the deceased penthouse founder. Why do you need to keep pictures of yourself naked? You see yourself every day. No, like, it's not it? his picture. I told you it was owned by somebody that, that had started penthouse. So somebody well, he, took it to him. Well, you remember he did all those nude pictures before them, nudie pictures when he was a model or whatever he, he called himself, the, the bikini whatever model. Whatever he called himself. Or speedo model, whatever it was. Yeah, so, you know, penthouse. Ain't nobody paying 150000 for that old me. Well, they already offered it sight unseen so i'm sure it's going to go up even more you know you kind of are curious to see you even said in our interview with with arnold that you wanted to see what his penis looks like i did not say that what okay. did you say what i said was i would never pull my penis out in a room with arnold schwarzenegger in the same room because i'm sure his penis is bigger than mine see now and i think guys that are big like that look like they would have small penises 
Because it'll like they use steroids. You, and you know, you guys are having a conversation about Arnold Schwarzenegger's penis right now. And, and so what, you little homophobic guy? So what? I'm just saying, don't Relax. you envy? Be for real. When you see guys that are huge no, I don't, I don't and muscular, about, I don't, I don't you don't, don't normally think no, don't, he must have no, a really no, small no, penis. Mm -mm, no, I don't think about man's penis. I'm sorry. You act like it's so bad. You and Charlie around to discuss a man's penis. All right, now let's discuss. <laughs> Alicia right. Keys, she has announced a new position. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Not that kind of position. Oh, she is the goodness. global creative director of BlackBerry now. So she held a press conference yesterday in New York City to debut their new operating That's system. That's a great thing. Yeah, for Alicia Keys. So. No, for us too. Alicia Keys, if you're out there, I know you listen every morning. Send us one of those new Blackberries. They come out, I think, March. So send it to us early. I need another phone. I'm going to be honest with you. I need well, they're saying Blackberry has really fallen off. They have a lot. And they've been struggling to regain users. So. Yeah, they pretty much suck right now. But they're saying this new phone in March that comes out is supposed to be amazing. Yeah, Blackberries aren't the smartest of the smartphones. People won't give up their Blackberry for one reason. Why? Because they love that... Um, BBM. BBM. BBM Messenger. It's, yeah. a, it's a lot easier than the iPhone, too. The iPhone corrects your words too much. They, you can put OK, and then it says something that it, it shouldn't have been. It's like, sometimes I'll write, like, are you going out? And it'll say, are you hoeing out? And I'm like, <laughs> That's not what I meant same to say. Thing, same, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. All right, now let's talk about these diaries that Robert Kardashian, that are, are being sold in some of his entries. Did you write? Things. Robert Car well, from when he was alive, obviously. These are his diaries. Oh, I thought you were talking about the child. I wasn't even thinking about the father. I was thinking about uh, the, son. the son. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, no, the father who passed away. The smart one. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff in there about Kris Jenner. That's Kim and Courtney's mom. And they're saying that uh, she really didn't love her kids. She didn't even want them. She liked <laughs> buying them clothes and making them beautiful. In addition, Robert Kardashian wrote how Kris Jenner was adding insult to injury. You know, she had a much younger... Uh, man that she was having an affair with and she bought him a $1,200 refrigerator from Sears. He didn't know about it. He got the bill and when he called Sears to dispute the charges, they informed him that his wife had purchased the refrigerator for Todd Waterman. <laughs> well, in the case of Chris Jenner, I'm not mad at her. It's something to be said for raising your kids like Bobby Dawson. Whoa, whoa, time to F out. Time to F out. Hold up. Stop the music. Is Ja Rule home? Because he's tweeting right now. Ja ain't tweeting. Ja's tweeting Not right the now. God MC. Ja is tweeting nope, right now. No, I don't believe you. Ja, look, look, look. Ja rule. What did he say? If he ain't saying that, welcome, I'm home. He goes, follow me right now. It's murder and murder music. Let's oh, no, go. he been tweeting, though. That's somebody with his account. No, that's me. I actually tweeted that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Tell tell and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Sorry to, to stop your rumor report. I'm going to try until he puts I'm home on okay. Twitter. All right. All right. Well, when we come back, we got to talk about this cop that killed himself and why he killed himself. It's a very interesting story. We'll talk about it when we come back. But right now, let's take a quick look at Duncan on the traffic report. George Washington Bridge, 10 minutes from the upper level. Lincoln Tunnel, 10 minutes in. Highland Tunnel looks okay. And Tabasee Bridge, 45 mile per hour speed restriction due to the weather. Rack, rack city. What? Rack, rack city. Why you ready? guys sound so corny when they try to be cool. In the world through some different eyes. Nice board op. And this report is powered by PSE&G Worry-Free Appliance Repair Contract Services. Worry-free water heater replacements when disaster strikes and you don't have cash on hand, we can replace it in a flash. PSE&G customers call for a free estimate at 800-539-7734 or visit PSE&G.com slash replacements. It's going to be a high of 59. It's currently 52. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's 7.02. Now, um... We were talking about the story behind the scenes that's on the front page of the Daily News about this cop that killed himself. You have the story, Yee? Yes, actually, that is Officer Matthew Schindler. He was forced to have sex with his supervisor, Sergeant Christine Herzl, mm -hmm. and that's what determined how much work he got, what his schedule was going to be. But he was married, and he told his boss, look, if you don't stop doing this, I don't want to have sex with you anymore. I feel guilty. I'm going to kill myself. And she didn't accept that. She told him too bad, and he did end up using his NYPD pistol to kill himself. Jesus Christ. Now, he basically, he felt that he had to cheat, or he had to have sex with his sergeant or boss so he can uh, keep a good job and keep a good position. Charlemagne said he's been in a position like that before where maybe his, uh... <laughs> well, you said that. Listen, I don't think you should ever compromise yourself <laughs> for a position, mm -hmm. but... But you've and, done it. And I guess. But in this situation, it all depends on how my boss looks. Like, come on. It's just a little cheating, a little infidelity on the side. A little to make cheating, sure a you, little yeah, infidelity? To, to, to make sure that your family's lights stay on. Yeah, that doesn't make it to right. To make sure that your kids eat. You're just making that excuse to make yourself feel better. But let's open up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. If your boss offered you a better position for sex, would you do it? Listen, men are out here cheating for less. 
Men are out here cheating for nothing. If I'm going to take that kind of chance, that kind of risk, I'd rather be taking that chance or that risk to feed my family. But we're talking about a person that takes, we've got to take that chance and opportunity regardless of anything. Who are you talking about? Plus, you? you're, you're a disgusting hoe. So I am not a hoe. I don't like that word hoe, okay? You are. I'm a sexual deviant, okay? Maybe a little promiscuous, but hoe is harsh. All right, again, yeah. if your boss offered you a better position for sex, what would you do? 800-585-1051 is the Breakfast Club of Power 1051. Good morning. Actually killed himself because... Well, tell, explain the story. You, you'll explain it better. Yes, Officer Matthew Schindler was forced to have sex with his supervisor, Sergeant Christine Herzl. And that's what would determine how much work he had to do and what his schedule was going to be. So he wanted to stop doing that. He was married. He had three kids. His... Uh, supervisor refused to allow him to stop having sex with her so he ended up killing himself and the cop wasn't suffering from any other mental issues or anything oh, i like have that? no idea this is all new so that, that, that sounds a bit extreme that sounds a bit it sounds extreme. like he was under a lot of pressure you well, know? Let's, let's take it away from the cop let's take it away from this situation and bring it more broader if your boss offered you a better position for sex or any position or made your life easier at the workplace would you do it angela Yee. okay this happened to me one time i had a job i was working at a record label and my boss called me in his office for a meeting and he said, listen, I went in with a pen, you know, paper to see what notes I was going to take. <laughs> he I said, didn't, you're not going to need none of that. You're not going to need none He of closes that. the door and he says, listen, we should go out to dinner. I'll take you to some really nice restaurants and um, we should have sex. <laughs> what? That was his whole proposition. And I said, absolutely I not. I said, I would rather die. I respect him for being straight forward. You don't have to say I would rather die. I Jesus did. Christ, and then man. guess what? I got fired two days later. As you should. I would rather die. Who's the boss? Turned him down nicely. You still see him? Uh, I've seen him, I think, twice since then. What's his name? I'm not going to do that. You should be showing him right now. But. It's your opportunity. No, don't do that. No, I will say this karma, I believe, took care of him. He looks awful now. Okay. And I actually did um, handle things in my own way during that time. You got him beat up? That's all I will say. Okay. Yeah, but I got, I got money from I got not a lot of money, but I didn't have to sue. But I did tell him, you know what you did? So, you know, because they tried to not pay me, like my last check. Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting a severance package. No, Charlamagne. Say that. I mean, I've definitely banged some bosses in my day. But let the record show, I've done a lot more work than just radio. You know, I've worked at Taco Bell. I've worked at uh, oh my the telemarketing places, you know. 800 but, um, Charlamagne's no, a finish, bird and he has finish. no standards. You, he doesn't no, care. Man, woman, whatever Can he I has finish? to do, he'll do it. Let me say what I need to say. You should never compromise your yourself for a position only do what you want to do but it would it would all depend on how the boss looks for me i mean we out here slinging this penis for less than that in these streets so no, if i'm gonna do something out foul here. you're out here slinging if i'm gonna do penis. something foul i'd rather do something foul for a purpose well, let's open up the phone lines sling Eight, penis with a purpose five eight five one oh five one nick if your boss offered you uh, a better position for sex would you do it what oh, i would tell Man, up? Exactly. Oh, Yo, times is hard out here, man. You see what this Social Security payroll tax doing to our checks? Kel, now, if your boss offered you a better position for sex, would you do it? If it's a dog pal, I'm taking it. Hell yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> oh, my I goodness. My dad, <laughs> Thank you, homie. Hello, who's this? Big J, what up? Big J, if your boss offered you a better position for sex, would you do it? It all depends on how she looks. First of all, like Charlamagne said. Yep. But I know Charlamagne <laughs> Wendy back in the day. No, I did, I did not. No, no, I no, no. Up. Hey, nope. I got a secret source that said that you did it, man. She was right there throughout the wow. whole time. Wow. That's you know, a damn lie. Somebody was there the whole time you were having sex? That is wow. a lie. All right, Charlamagne. Don't believe that hype. Mila, good morning. Good morning. If your boss offered you a better position for sex, would you do it? I sure was. Wow. But wow. she would have to put it in writing first before I even hit Okay, that. I, I no can't put it in writing, put that in writing I can't offer you a promotion for box in writing, okay? Listen, no. She's going to have to put me in the position first. Oh, Mila, 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 Mila. So you don't care if it's a male or female boss. You're going to do what nah, you got to do. No, she has to be a female. I'm sorry. You guys know. I don't... Mm. That's right. You Listen, you out here eating... You guys know. You, you, out, here, you, listen, you, you out here eating cats for free. Man. You know how we do. I can't do that. That's mm -hmm. right. I'm with you, boo. Oh, my goodness. Even Thank if you're you, married, huh? Even if I'm married, that's right. That's right, man. Listen, I am doing this for us. And you want, if I got caught with my wife, that's what I would tell her. I did this for us. Yeah, that sounds okay? like an excuse. 800-585-1051. If your boss offered you a better position for sex, what would you do? It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Rock it up. What? It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes. Taking your calls, 800-585-1051. If your boss offered you a better position for sex, what would you do? What would you do? 800-585-1051. This is awful. I know Zaffy, we got to go into this song. <laughs> Awkward. Okay. Right. Somebody died this morning. Yeah. Seems like yesterday we used to rock the show. Power 105.1. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes. 
taking your phone calls right now. 800-585-1051. Now, this story actually came on the front page of the Daily News. What happened with this officer, Yee? This officer was uh, forced to have sex with his boss in order to keep his job and get a good amount of money and get on, on schedule. And he ended up killing himself. He was married, and he just couldn't take it anymore. The guilt, the pressure... And he took his own life. Listen, I don't believe in compromising yourself for a position, but I do believe in slinging penis for a purpose. And as uh, Kendall is King so eloquently said on Twitter, he said, if my boss ever offers me a better position and all I got to do is hit it, I'm going to knock her ratchet ass down. And if my girl got a problem with it, she won't be moving into the new spot with me. You guys are birds. That's why I always feel like men are just bigger <laughs> birds than women. definitely sound like a bird, but let's go through the phone lines. Bird moves. 800-585-1051. When we have Michelle on the line. Michelle, if your boss offered you a better position for sex, what would you do, Michelle? Yes, I actually, I used to live in Florida, and I got a job offer up here in New York. He pulled me into the office, because he was going to have me fill out the paperwork, and he told me that if I really wanted a position that I basically had to sleep with him, I had to have an affair with him. Did you do there it? There you go. <laughs> I thought about it, and I was like, no, you know what, I'm not going to do it. So then he was like, well, if you're not going to do it, then I'm not going to offer you the secretary position. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. So I ended up quitting, but... And I was stuck here in New York with no job, nothing. And then you ended up going to a bar and having sex with somebody for free when you could have just had sex with the boss and had a job. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't going to do that. I have That's morals. right. Morals. That you have Thank morals. You. Okay. Don't compromise your morals. morals good job, you Morals land you in the unemployment line. That's all right. Julian, good morning. What's up, man? How you doing? Has your boss ever offered you uh, sex for a better position? Actually, yeah. When I was 16, I had to do community service because I got a speeding ticket, right? Mm-hmm. So I got sent to this convalescent home, retirement home for old people, and I had to complete 80 hours of community service. So you knocked off an old person so you could fill out your, 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 your form. 80 hours of vintage vagina? I am proud of you, sir. Okay. I'm going to put it to you like this. It wasn't no elderly lady, but, I mean, she had a whole lot of pounds. Look, I'll put it to you that way. Big mama, a big, a big woman. Yeah, but I'm saying it was either spend my summer doing a whole lot of ass wiping or... Doing a whole oh. lot of ass wiping. Oh, my goodness. My man. Thank you, homie. Proud of you, man. So we all know Charlemagne would do whatever it takes to get a, a better job, huh? All I'm saying is... No question. You should never compromise yourself for a position, but you're out here cheating anyway for free, so you might as well do it for the betterment of your family and the betterment of your employment. Why not? That makes you sleep Or maybe night. you just shouldn't cheat. Listen, that's a great excuse. Your oh, wife gets you a job. Maybe you should go like, to look. Human Resources and sue and get more money. Nah, then you, yeah, you, then you blackballed. Then you blackballed from the game. Nah, not at all. They can't blackball you. You can get all that money. Then you got to prove it. Nobody got time to be sitting in deposition trying to prove that this woman had sex with me. No, oh my goodness. I'd rather just knock it off and keep it moving. Well, yeah, we got rumors coming up. Yes, we are going to talk about this 911 call that they have now that has to do with this Rick Ross drive-by shooting that happened in Fort Lauderdale. Let's see if you believe I this. I better not hear no uh on no 911 call. Oh, my goodness. I All better right. not. We find out in 10 minutes. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. And Envy trying to kill us this morning. Help! No. Help! No, I'm not. Envy's trying to kill us this morning. That was an accident. Could y'all please come pick him back up and take him back to the <laughs> mental up. institution he was in? Please. Shut up. This guy trying to kill us this morning. Shout to Neff, Neff Clothing Line, who uh, designed some Breakfast Club t-shirts that are going to be in uh, all the uh, clothing stores. Yeah, they're really nice. Dr. I love J's them. To, I think, uh, Jimmy Jazz. Very fresh. I think all the clothing Karma stores. Karma Loop. So you can definitely uh, pick, check out the Breakfast Club, uh, Breakfast Club's t-shirts. And they're very affordable, too. Yes, absolutely. But they're super cute. I love them. So I was trying to hang it up here, up here in the uh, studio, and everything just started falling down. And well, yeah, you broke the clock. You I didn't break the clock. Allegedly broke the clock. No, you definitely broke it. It's and allegedly. it fell on. It almost fell on our board app's head. Listen, uh, Envy, whatever you want to do to yourself, do it. But don't take it out on us. Stop. Okay? Shut up. <laughs> we got rumors coming up here. <laughs> yes, and let's talk about Nicki Minaj and Scaff Beasy. They are in the news. And Scaff. Yeah, it's not good, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's my guy. I just talked to Scaff yesterday. Oh, well, we have some questions. It's my guy. Get him on the line. Okay. All right, well, rumors in 10 minutes. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Good morning. Uh, this just in. All the guys. <laughs> the Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Yes, so let's talk about this 911 call. That was made during this Rick Ross drive-by shooting in Fort Lauderdale. You can hear the woman actually had to hang up the phone in the middle of calling 911. I just heard a bunch of gunshots go off. Okay. And a car sped by, and my server just left on her bike to go to work. Oh, my God, they're turning around and coming back. Okay. I'm, on, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. Bye. Okay, ma'am, how many shots are you here? I don't know. They're coming back. I'm hiding. They're just coming. 
Now, now, as you can see, it wasn't it wasn't a fake call. Yeah. Somebody was shooting at Rick Ross, and they just missed all those times. Well, you think she had something to do with it? No, everybody don't got to be in on the gag. Why would I? Why would the, why would the business owners be in on the gag? So you think Rick Ross had somebody? So you think Rick Ross paid shoot. somebody to shoot Listen, real guns? All I'm saying is, if you over 300 pounds and you in a ghost. And somebody shoots at you 12 times, and they don't hit your car not once. Something ain't right about that. Maybe they had bad shot. Maybe they had bad shot. All right. Well, well that's, I need my deposit back from them shooters. Then. Whoever hired them Listen, shooters, get I your just, deposit back. I think it's very fortunate that no one got injured. Absolutely. Clearly, they were real gunshots that were going off. Absolutely. I don't know the situation. I wouldn't accuse Rick Ross of setting up a fake shooting. I didn't so. accuse him. I just said it sounds a bit fishy to me. <laughs> that no, nothing got hit. Worse. Nothing got hit? Nothing. Buildings. Thank, thank Buildings? God. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, thank God. All right, let's talk about Rihanna. She's on the cover of Rolling Stone, and she has a whole spread inside. And she talks a lot about Chris Brown. And she talks about how she felt like he had to know what it was like to lose her, to feel the consequences of that. She said, so when that came back, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, God, you got to be kidding right now. And she said that she knew people wouldn't be happy about her reuniting with Chris Brown. But she said, I decided it was more important for me to be happy. And I wasn't going to let anybody's opinion get in the way of that. Even if it's a mistake, it's my mistake. I commend her for that. And she said that uh, Chris Brown has changed. She said, of course, everybody has their opinion about him because of what he's done. That will always be there. But he made a mistake, and he's paid his dues. He has paid so much. I, I, I ride with her, too. You can't live your life for other people. Not man. You got to live your life for you. And like she said, if it, if, it, if it turns out to be a mistake, then that's on her. That's her mistake. Absolutely. There's only one person she got to look up to, and that's herself and God. I agree. All right. Now there's these rumors circulating about Nicki Minaj and her longtime boyfriend, Scaff Beasy, Safari Samuels. Now, according to a story that's going to be out today in Star Magazine, they're saying that he was at a party and it was packed with women some of them were doing ecstasy and he was propositioning some of the women and they said eventually he got lucky with beauty dior who's a former porn star and that he did pay her for some oral sex and that is the story that is circulating that's hard for me to believe being that Nicki minaj had such a lease on scaff Beasy. when did she let him off the leash for him to be by you himself stupid, you stupid huh? you stupid he's hung out um before with you and she wasn't there that's true. That's my. Guy. But I mean, it was yeah. That's true. But that's my guy. But but you know. But All right. I, so what did he say about this? I don't know. I didn't ask him. I don't think he did anything though, because he's he's too whipped by Nicki Minaj to even think about creeping. He's scared to death of Nicki. He, he's scared to death. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but like, that busy is scared to Damn, death you of Nicki. For him. Well, you gotta say so you I don't think. <laughs> I don't personally. I don't personally think he would do something like that. Now, do you think Scott would do something like that? Envy? No. I don't think so either. I, it's hard for me to believe. He that. is kind of scared to death, but I ain't want to put it out there like that. Not kind of scared to death. He is scared to right, death. All right, Charlamagne. Nicki Minaj. Take his manhood away. Nicki, Gosh. Nicki oh cracked that pink whip. <laughs> and that is and your... tug on that pink leash. Where you, where you going? With friends like you, boy. You know, um, right? And it's a short leash. I say it all the time. <laughs> thank you, Angela Yee. And thank you, See the Barb. Now we have on Donkey Today coming up. <laughs> yes, we do. And this application that this company games to win is sending to the Android market is a detriment to men everywhere. We have to get this shut down and stopped. Okay? There will not be no women empowerment on my watch. What are you talking about? No women empowerment on your watch. We'll find out at 804. He's crazy today. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. We need to send him to the Looney Tunes. But don't forget, uh, after this joint, we have your chance to pick up $1,000 and possibly go to the All-Star Game with Trey Songs. Also, we got Donkey today, 804 Charlemagne. Yes, and it's going to these guys that have designed this app. And it's an app that is going to absolutely cause problems between men and women everywhere. All right, we find out in 804. It's Frank Ocean, Novocaine. It's the Breakfast Club of Power 105. Good morning. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Yes, Donkey of the Day for January 31st goes to Games to Win. They uh, develop apps, and they developed an app that is available in the Android market called the Boyfriend Trainer. 
Let me tell you the description for this. The description for this game is crack that whip and teach your guy a thing or two about being the perfect boyfriend. Mm -hmm. When scolding doesn't work, just zap him, whack him, and train him to be your ideal man. Now, this is some pure BS. What do you mean, zap him? Yeah, zap does em. this actually put out a taste? Like, Listen, let me, let me finish. Here's an example of what's in this game. When the boyfriend eyes another girl at the club, you can whip out a can of mace as the girlfriend and spray it into the eyes of your boyfriend as surrounding people in the club laugh at his misfortune. That's funny. Now, this is sending the wrong message. This game is rated for players ages four and up. Is that what we want to teach young girls, to beat on your boyfriends when they do something wrong? This game boyfriend trainer gives girls advice like, girls, don't like their boyfriends to look at other girls. About time he got the message, so slap him silly. Wait, what's it? I'm about to, where can I get this? That's it's in the Android market. Oh. Now, this app Steam is girl power, but I don't think it is influencing girl power. I think it's influencing abuse. If this was girlfriend trainer and it was an app where guys were beating their girlfriends when they got out of line, it would be an uproar. And men, we need to be in an uproar now because don't think this game won't have an effect on women. It's starting at ages four and up. You know how impressionable kids are at age four? We can't have these women thinking they can just go around beating on men because all that's going to lead to is men beating on women. We saw when the bus driver uppercutted that chick on that bus. And why did he, why did he do that? Because she hit him. Everybody just need to keep their hands to themselves. Now, hold on, hold on. That's like saying get rid of all video games that have fighting. There's games where men are fighting women Listen, I'm not all the time. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about boyfriend trainer. It's a game. And the description of boyfriend it trainer is... It sounds like a is, great game to me. No. The description of boyfriend trainer is crack that whip and teach your guy a thing or two about being the perfect boyfriend. So abuse is what makes your man the perfect boyfriend? No. It's a video Every, game. Everybody just needs to keep their hands to themselves. You got a point there, Sheldon. We don't need anything out there encouraging. But then we should get rid of all the more Combat games. No, we should get rid no. of Call of Duty that's because fiction. that's like saying this that's encouraging life. people to go no. out and kill people. But you know what? Listen, I agree. It's a with game. You. I, at certain age, at age four, you shouldn't have little girls talk about I slap him if you look at someone. Absolutely, those girls might really think that. Listen, at, at a pro at appropriate age, it's fine. We don't need anything out there encouraging any kind of domestic violence, whether it's men beating on women or women beating on men. I agree. Give games to win the biggest hee haw. <laughs> <laughs> and this app was obviously created by a Caribbean woman. They should have definitely, stupid. okay. They definitely need this to app stupid. was created by a Caribbean woman. That's why Angelie agrees with it, because she's a Caribbean woman. West Indian. Do they have, West um, Indians, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Do they have a way that you can name the characters? Like, can they, you could put like somebody's face, like how you have. I'm on sure the Wii. you can. I'm sure you can. Like the little me. That would be awesome. Imagine if Charlemagne's girlfriend could put his little picture. On ah! his crack that whip. Crack that whip. Ah! Sit down, Charlemagne. Let me get my whip. So what are you trying to, you trying to say, Yee? I'm trying to say she needs that game. <laughs> she needs the boyfriend She's so app. funny. La, 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 la. She's so Angelie, funny. Angelie. <laughs> Angelie. <laughs> you know we don't do that. We nah. don't do what? It's after 8 o'clock. We don't do that. <laughs> nah. 800 585 nah. <laughs> Why is this guy screaming? <laughs> Does your boyfriend... It feels like somebody might be sticking pins in a doll or something. <laughs> Does your boyfriend really need training? <laughs> Does your boyfriend need training? 800 585 1051. What would you train your boyfriend to do if you could train your boyfriend? Shout ladies? out to Kay Psychedelic. She said she needs this app. I bet you she's Caribbean. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Lumber Power 1051. Good morning. Nobody's going to say good morning back to me, huh? Oh, you talking, talking to us? Talking to everybody. Power. 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 Oh, ah. And you know you do have voices in your head. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about this new app that you gave Donkey of the Day to. Now yes. explain this app a little bit. Um, it's from a company called Games to Win, and it's an app called Boyfriend Trainer. And the description for this app is crack that whip and teach your guy a thing or two about being the perfect boyfriend. And basically, they're encouraging women to do domestic violence on their boyfriends to make them oh, act gosh. right. Like, for example, it's this one part where they're in a the club together. A guy looks at another girl, and the woman whips out mace, sprays him with it, and everybody in the club laughs at the guy. It's funny. I don't think you should be encouraging any kind of domestic violence, whether it's men beating on women or women beating on men. See, I, you know, I, I agree and I disagree. I, I think if it's a game, it's fine. If it's the, the appropriate age, over 18, over 21, that's fine. But well, you don't have a four-year-old playing with this app thinking well, it's Well, your right four-year-old doesn't have an Android phone. Well, it, start, it, it starts or, at ages four and up for this Well, game. you know what? Eight-year-olds do have Android phones, and nine-year-olds do, and ten-year-olds do. So I think it's a little too far. And some five, four-year-olds do have this have phones, and I think it's... It's Ooh. age appropriate. And I think, I That's think, on you as a parent. If you can't monitor what's going on in your child's phone and what apps they're playing, then there's nothing you can do about yeah, it. Yeah, but if you give your daughter if you give your daughter or son a, eight, a phone at eight or nine years old to be able to call you, he's going to download that. He's going to download the app for free, and then you could check can't all Can't you um, 
Can't you monitor what goes on your child's phone and put a lock on it? Well, I have As a my, parent, I would think you would do that. Well, some parents are, are smart enough to do that, and some parents don't know. Like, on my phone, I can see exactly what app my daughter downloads. Every time she downloads Okay, well, there you go. That's what parents need to do. If you but don't some want people your child, don't know, and I don't know how the Android works. And, and let's be clear. We were all kids once. You cannot monitor everything that your kids would do, that your kids are doing. Because there's things that we did as children that and our parents had no idea and we were doing. And what app has an age restriction on it that you can't... Go ahead and download it. Like, do apps have age restrictions, any of them? Well, they have, or some of the apps you have to be able to put in a password to be able to, to, to download the app. So, what does that have to do with age? I mean, they should have an age limit. Some of them, they, they, you have to be a certain age. You have to put in a date and everything. Okay, so they can't just put in any date. I yes, mean, I would Angela think Yee. any app anybody wants to get, they could get. It doesn't matter what age you say it is. Listen, like That's I said, your job as a parent to watch like what I your said, kids are we doing. were all kids, and it was certain things our parents could not monitor us doing all the time. you know what I'm thinking? Why are we asking the woman in here with no kids <laughs> Yes, the about single kids. woman with no kids <laughs> about kids. You're let's right. Go, let's go to the phone right. lines. Actually, I studied education. I was going to be a teacher, oh, so I know hush. a lot about child Until you push one out of that box, it don't count. 585 Hello, who's this? Yo, what's up, man? It's Marcus. Marcus, does your boyfriend need training? <laughs> no, come on, not at all. Listen, I would like to tell my girlfriend to act white. How do you act white? You mean act white or act right? Uh, white, white, oh, white, no, white, Caucasian. Girl. How does one Listen, act white? won't you just go get you a nice Nubian white queen? Just dump your black girlfriend and go get a white woman. Oh, stop it. No, I, like, I, like, I like black girls, but I wish they would act more white. Oh, know, my man? goodness. Thank you, brother. Listen, man. Hello, who's this? <laughs> Hi, this is Jennifer. Jennifer, does your boyfriend need training? No. No? Do you like this app? No, I don't like it. I totally disagree with it. Like, That's right. I think it's promoting violence. It's not okay. And they're making it seem like it's okay. It's not okay to beat on your boyfriend. I'm not encouraging okay you to beat on your boyfriend. Oh, my gosh, it's a Thank game. You. Not at age four. It's not, not telling you to go game. out and... Um, I don't think you people. realize how much influence these games have on these kids. But then though. there's a lot of games we need to get rid of. You're right, but let's start with boyfriend training. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. There's a new app right now that supposedly teaches your boyfriend to do the right thing. Boyfriend training. Do you need this app? Do you like this app? Call us up right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes. Uh, we got rumors coming up, E? No, uh, we do. Oh, no, we can still talk about the topic. boyfriend. Yeah. My bad. My yeah. bad, but we do Hold have on, let me crack that up. whip on Envy. Ah. You know. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about this game called Boyfriend Trainer. It's an app that was developed by Games to Win, and the description is crack that whip and teach your guy a thing or two about being the perfect boyfriend. Basically, I'm reading what it says here right now. It just says, no boyfriend is perfect. It's time you trained him to become one. Crack that whip and teach your guy a thing or two about being the perfect boyfriend. That's exactly what I just oh, said. Oh, because you had a lighter voice. You think it seemed nice? Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I just said. You tried to say it very threatening no, and menacing. You like. sounded nasty that's threatening. And when you see the example of, Yo. you see the example of when your boyfriend's Women in the club. Crazy. Exactly. The one example for the game is when your boyfriend's in the club Yo. and he looks at another girl, pull out some mace and spray him with it. Yo, <laughs> Angela Yee is crazy. Did you just hear her change her tone? Yeah, all you want to do is just teach your boyfriend yeah. how to be better. Yeah. No. She's is a, that listen. right? 800-585-1051. When we come back, is that app? Right, ladies, does your boyfriend need training? And let the record show, Angela Yee is Caribbean. And Caribbean women often boyfriend I've training I've never hit a guy years. in my life, they, they and say, I never will. But if West I Indian. play a game, that's not going to make me want to hit a man. They say West Indian, shall we? Okay. That, it's a hard knock life. First time I heard this song, I thought this was the best song ever invented. Yeah, me too. It's still, I mean, it's a classic. Yeah. It's a classic. It's hard out here for men, though. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Now, we're talking about this app. Charlemagne gave the app donkey today. Now, explain this app a little bit, Charlemagne. It's uh, from Games to Win. It's an app called The Boyfriend Trainer. It's in the Android market. And the description for this app is crack that whip and teach your guy a thing or two about being the perfect boyfriend. When scolding doesn't work, zap him, whack him, and train him to be your ideal man. It's one scenario in the game where a guy and his girl are in the club. The guy looks at another woman, and then the woman has the option to pull out some mace and spray him in the eye while people in the club laugh at him. Damn it. <laughs> this game is encouraging domestic violence. It I is. don't agree with it. I'm sure a West Indian <laughs> or Caribbean woman designed this game. Yeah, that's, I that's think if crazy. anybody is stupid enough to play a game and then take that game and apply it to their real You're life. You're talking about children out there that'll be playing this no game. No child should have a phone with this app on it. I mean, you, you don't know. A it's lot a of parents game. don't know what, what I, I played a lot of games, watched a lot of movies when I was phone. younger, and that didn't make me do the things that, that make, were in the game. didn't make you do it, but a I lot of kids out there do it. I was playing a Frogger. That doesn't mean I'm going to run across the street and get smashed by a car. That's because you're not a frog. And you know? he was a frog. I, you don't know how that game influenced frogs. Well, guess what? Plenty, <laughs> plenty, plenty of frogs probably died because of frogger. Well, right. if your four-year-old has a boyfriend that she has to train, then you have other issues in your hands. Now, so you, you, you no, so you got to take it seriously. There's a lot of kids that probably run across the street and dodge cars because they watch Frogger and they played Frogger. There's a lot of kids out there that probably do that. You yeah. don't watch SVU, huh? No. No, you need to watch SVU. <laughs> 
Okay. Anyway, let's go to the phone lines. 800-585-1051. Is this app okay? Ladies, does your man need training? Keisha, good morning. Good morning. Now, good morning. How do you feel about this app? And do you have a boyfriend and does he need training? Um, Actually, in regards to the app, I think Charlamagne is absolutely right. If they're advertising this app for four-year-olds, then there's definitely something wrong. I mean... Why, why would a four-year-old have an Android phone? I'm just asking the question. That's true. That's that is Hold on, time out. My daughter is four and she can play games on the iPhone Does now. she have a phone? They, they got games on the iPhone for four-year-olds. I want to hold my phone. Her mama's on the phone, and they got games for her. Well, she should be playing those games. This particular app, this particular app, I don't think she'll be looking for this one. So. I would hope not. It's a game, yeah. There's a lot of games. That, in that case, if you're going to say that game needs to be banned, then a lot of games. Yeah, it's to be a lot banned, of things I hate to have influence on kids that we might. Why would your child? Over. Why would your four year old be on your? Why would you let her play that game on your phone? That's not you as a parent. Ooh, that's true, but Ooh. that's not the point I'm trying to make. The but point they should, I'm trying they to make should, is we should not be encouraging domestic is, violence. Yeah, period. We, should, we shouldn't be promoting that, that on any level. Right. Men, women, women are men. We period. shouldn't promote violence. Period. Nicole, good morning. That's true too. Hey, good morning, guys. Does your boyfriend need training? I don't have a boyfriend, but I would not want to train him. You only train animals. You don't need to train a man. You could teach a man how to treat you and love you, but train? No. Save that for animals. There you go. You're I'm acting you like boy. this game is real life. Like, when you, I mean, you play the, the game, game, it really hits the guy game. in real life. And you I mean, think domestic you violence ain't real? You would be surprised what women would do. Please. It's going to be a lot of accidents behind that game. You Absolutely. Want work. If a girl decides to hit her man based off of an app on a phone, she's probably going to do it anyway. Man, it's but like, reverse it around. If a man hit a woman, what happens? It, he goes to jail. We're talking about a game versus real life. In video matter. games, they have men versus women all the time. If this game was called so Girlfriend right Trainer, Angelique would be in an uproar. game and hit a man, right? I don't, I, I don't, it's right for a woman to play that game and hit a man because it's just a game, but let it be reversed the other Absolutely. way. So you think in, so you think in Mortal Kombat and all those games, there shouldn't that be any female players that are that. playing That's against men? That's a video men? game. That's a video game. Now you're talking about a lady out here. An app? This is a game too. No, no. This lady is out here bashing the man. She put the app out there so the woman could go out there and beat the man and abuse the man. I, I don't agree. agree with that at all. And Envy, you should name your baby Destiny. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for the comment and thank you for the uh, the idea. I don't know if I'm gonna go with they that. They should one. get rid of all the men smacking women in Grand Theft Auto. Then they I think should. I think um, Angelique want to beat up a man. So she that's does. I don't hit anybody. What are you what talking I, listen, about? When you but I'm not stupid enough to go look at an app and say, okay, now Angelique, I'm gonna go hit a guy because you know I did it in well. a video game. I'm not gonna do that, but a four year old might. Listen, listen, forget all that. No. If this game was called Girlfriend Trainer and it was men beating up on women, Angelique would be in an uproar, and she knows she would. But it's not about what the game is about. Is the age for the game? If it's a 21 year old, okay, it could be seen as a fun game. But for a four year old, five year old, six year old, ten year old, that's it's a little too. Control your kids. And as far as your Mortal Kombat comparison, Mortal Kombat is not real life. I don't see ninjas fighting in the street or <laughs> over a full moon. But I see couples out here fighting all the time. Yeah, absolutely. What right. about Grand Theft Auto then? Uh, the mean, guys go and smack women all over the place. On Grand Theft Auto, you smacking prostitutes. Prostitutes ain't people. What are they? Prostitutes. Oh my goodness. You got rumors coming up? I give up. Yeah, let's talk about Drake. Who is he allegedly trying to get in somebody's panties now? That, listen, Frank Next. Ocean does not want Drake. Oh my goodness. I didn't we say find that. out in 10 minutes. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let me shout out to Neff, the clothing line Neff. Who uh, did a uh, Breakfast Club T-shirt, which is going to yeah, be in all your stores? Yeah, special limited edition that we helped develop with them—a Breakfast Club T-shirt. Very uh -huh. fresh, very you fresh. Can, you can pick it up at uh, KarmaLoop.com. You can pick it up at uh, Jimmy Jazz. You It'll can be pick out it up next week at uh, all the stores. Dr. J's. It'll be in all the clothing stores. It's um. I actually think that should be our logo. The logo they designed. Yeah, the logo little, uh, is definitely dope. What do you call that? A seal. That's what you would call it? Mm -hmm. That yeah. seal, that Breakfast Club seal, is tough. Yeah, it's pretty dope. So it's shout tough. to Neff. You know, it's actually at first the first T-shirt was our pictures. And that looks stupid. But Charlemagne, it, it just, it was, it, well, I ain't going to say nothing. What? Charlemagne what? Nothing. We got rumors coming up? Yes, we are going to talk about Nicki Minaj. How does she feel about not, about not being nominated for a Grammy? I'll tell you what she had to say. Okay. Oh, you know what it was on that t-shirt? It was Envy's gray hairs. No. He said you look like a young old man. No, they couldn't see your face, Charlemagne. Why, because I'm dark-skinned? I didn't say that. You, got, you, you really hate dark-skinned people. I didn't you? say that. You said it, I mean. You waffle, I just said they couldn't see You waffle-colored Negroes are so mad y'all don't got no pigments. You, they, you, had a, you have a black T-shirt on, they couldn't see nothing. That's Look, look, am I lying? See? Is that because I have dark skin? Say it. No, because you wear a black T-shirt. Say it, say it's because I got dark skin. Say no, it, because Africans can revolt. <laughs> now you're African? <laughs> I'm whatever dark skin species you want to call. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club of Power 1051. Room is next. With Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 1051.
So, Sissy Houston, that's Whitney Houston's mother, was on Oprah's Next Chapter, and she does talk about the gay rumors that were surrounding Whitney Houston with her best friend. Here is what she had to say. Do you believe that Whitney and Robin were in a gay relationship? I don't really know. I didn't particularly like her. Would it have <laughs> bothered you if your daughter, Whitney, was gay? Absolutely. Yeah. You, you would not have liked that? Not at all. Sissy wow. Houston better shut up before she messes up the estate of Whitney Houston. How do you think it? How do you think it'll affect Whitney Houston? I mean, that has nothing to do with Whitney. Maybe. It's not her fault. I mean, her, her mom estate. Feels that now, way. I, I know Whitney's dad. I mean, her estate. Will that affect her estate? Will people still go out and buy old Whitney albums because they? Yeah, that, that could affect her post. Uh, what's the word? Post. Uh, Posthumous. Post, post hummus. Hummus is a post hummus. <laughs> what do you say? Post what? Yeah, post hummus. Post hummus. That means after you eat hummus. It's post, <laughs> post hummus. What's the word? Come on now. You're, you're asking me. Yeah, it could yeah, there you go. It could affect her sales after her death. Absolutely. Thank Gla God for Angie. Post hummus. Glad don't play. <laughs> You'll be up here sounding stupid. Because Glad might look at Sissy and say, okay, Sissy is the matriarch of the family. She birthed Whitney. Whitney birthed Bobby Christina. So maybe all the family shares those views. So they might start protesting her at their reality shows, anything they try to do now. You never know. Okay. All right, now let's talk about Nicki Minaj on this whole not being nominated for a Grammy. You know, her album did very well this year, one of the best-selling albums of the year. And she said, I've gotten tons of awards, and I believe when it's my time to get a Grammy, I'll get a Grammy. I think the Grammys had a different reason that I do not want to discuss, and that's just between me and them, but I respect their organization, and I'll get a Grammy eventually. I'm not worried about it. Nicki didn't write that. <laughs> Nicki didn't write that. Why she didn't write Because Nikki would have said some other stuff. Nikki would have said, F them, I don't care. The only reason they ain't put me in is because this, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada. Nikki ain't always ratchet, man. Nikki know how to speak. When I didn't say she didn't know how to speak. She know how to move in certain circles. But Nikki don't care about feelings. She definitely would have said what she, what she felt. All right, well, let's discuss the Super Bowl. Now, we all know about Beyonce and uh, Destiny's Child performing during halftime. You know they don't get paid for that, right? You know, the Super Bowl takes care of, the NFL, they take care of your production expenses. Oh, absolutely. They've that given her a budget of $600,000. That means she gets paid. No, it looks like she's going to exceed that budget. Anything you go mm -hmm. above that, you have to pay yourself. You don't think Beyonce's going to the production company? Look, I'm going to give you the $600,000, but I need my get back? No. Knock it off. Definitely not, because they also have to pay to fly people in, and you know she's bringing in other people, and you want it to be a great production. They're assuming what's probably going to happen with Beyonce is that Pepsi, that's her main sponsor, mm -hmm. is going to pick up the remainder of the balance of what has to be paid for. Absolutely. And why wouldn't they? Beyonce's not Listen, you the can't time. get better promotion than the Super Bowl. That's the most watched, most tele watched televised She has a $50 million dollar deal with Pepsi, and they have Beyonce performing at halftime at the Super Bowl. Why wouldn't she they? She should release a single that day, too. That's the most televised event every year. And everybody pretty much exceeds their budget. They said Madonna exceeded her budget because she hired Nicki Minaj, MIA, LMFAO, CeeLo Green, all of them last year. So she's going to definitely be above and beyond. And, you know, Alicia Keys is going to be performing as well doing the national anthem. Okay. So You think Jay going to come out? I have no idea. Maybe. You said Lil Wayne is going to come out, though, is what it's looking like. I mean, it's New Orleans. That's what I've been hearing. We've been hearing that. It's the most. It's the listen. It's the most watched telecast every year. Why not? I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Yep. All right. Drake is allegedly trying to get all up on Tatiana Ali. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know who that is, she's from the Fresh Prince. Remember, she played um Ashley. Oh, he should be able to hit that easy. She don't got much going on now. <laughs> well, yeah. They isn't she on that show, um, The Real Husbands of Hollywood? Right? Is she on that show? I haven't seen her on it yet, unless she was on the third episode, because I didn't see it. This oh, week. she's on the Wayne show. Okay. Oh, the Wayne show. Next oh, second he, generation. Oh, he Wayne. definitely get hit. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> there's pictures of them out and about together. He went out for her birthday. He sent her roses and some ace of spades, and you know you can see him like kissing her. Maybe he's just having fun. But I thought know. Deanna, that's a come up now. You need it right now. Don't be fooled. Don't 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 have morals now. Don't All right, and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right, now up next, of course, you, is your next chance to pick up a thousand dollars and possibly go to the All Star Break with Trey Songs. And of course, it's the People's Choice Mix. You want to hear something in the mix? Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. I'm cutting your mics off so you can't say nothing. It's the Breakfast Number Power 1051. Joe Biden, where's Khalifa? French Montana's called NBA. Never broke again. What you guys think? I like that. Yeah, I think that's a very tough tune. Like very, that. very, very tough tune. Very hard. Yeah, very hard. Dope. That's dope. Inshallah, you never go broke again, though. God willing, you never go broke. Right, again. absolutely. Because, man, you never know. Mm -hmm. And call the 105 right now, 800 585 1051. You get Especially a pair of tickets to see Mike Epps live at the theater at Madison Square Garden on March 1st. Tickets are on sale right now at Ticketmaster locations, but call the 105. He'll be in the building. All right. Now, um, shout to our, our, our good old bosses over here at Claire Channel. They put out check-in, because usually we get paid on the first, but then we got it a day earlier, 
And this is perfect. I thought we no, we don't. We always get paid the last yeah, day of the month. Where have really? We been? Yeah. I always thought it was the first. I always check on the first. It's the first or fifteenth, but it always ends up the first the day before. What are you, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, I didn't know that. I'll no, we always get paid yeah. on the last day of the month. I didn't know that. If it's the thirtieth or the thirty first, that's when you get paid. Well, that, well, I mean, besides them taking out a, a couple of, they they they, no, it, it ain't them. It ain't them. Out. It's the Social Security payroll tax increase that is raping us all. It went from four point two percent to six that's six point two percent, and it's, I seem like it's damn near forty percent. That's a lot of bread. It's a lot of bread. Man, but, I, I, hey, I almost had to put some on. And layaway. imagine me, I don't have any kids or nothing. So you have you no really, rights. Yeah. yeah well, you really need to get somebody to money. shoot your club up then. Goodness gracious. Stop wearing condoms. All of that can be changed, Angelique. You have a are, penis. You don't want blocking your blessings. Tell these guys take them condoms off and you can have something to write up, put on your tax. You can claim a child on your tax. The only person stopping you from getting pregnant I'm going to get a sperm donor so I can choose exactly what my baby's going to be like. Stop using the pills. Stop using the shot. <laughs> you think it's that easy, huh? Let them dudes hit it raw. Let them shoot the club up. Oh, my goodness. Stop blocking your blessings. Well, don't, Cherry Mar- don't miss your blessing, Angela. Cherry Martinez is up next. Now. Bottle she signed to next- Khaled now? <laughs> but hold up. Let's be clear. Bottle signed to Khaled now. We the best. I think you are in love with Vado. Vado. Because you talk about him Vado. so much. Now is the time to take the condom off, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right. Anyway. I'm All right, this Cherry out. Martinez is up next. Here's your next chance to walk away with $1,000. Go to the All-Star Game out in Houston with Trey Song. So if you need that, it happens at 10 o'clock. How many people do you think get pregnant at the All-Star Games? Woo, by accident? <laughs> <laughs> it goes down. <laughs> no, the question is how many of are... Stop it. Don't do it. How many people do you think are going to get pregnant <laughs> this weekend, Super Bowl weekend? How many Plan B pills are taken after the All-Star break is the question. Okay, that, that, that was your way of clearing it up. <laughs> that was his way of clearing it up. How many unwanted pregnancies How happening? many guys wake up the next morning like, oh, man, what did I do last night? <laughs> oh, did that Molly have you doing? <laughs> Let me be nice to this chick for a little while just to make sure we straight. <laughs> and it's the worst when you got a whole box of condoms just sitting here. Like, I had three condoms Damn. just sitting here. Didn't use not man one. Sounds like you say that a lot. No, I wasn't speaking from experience. That was just all hypothetical. <laughs> Solomon, leave us on a positive note. <clears throat> Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. That's Philippians 4, 6. My list prevents me from pronouncing that chapter what? correctly. The, the Filipinos. Correct the Fili- what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Philippians 4, 6, okay? <laughs> My list prevents me from you're pronouncing what? that chapter of the Bible you're the correct you're way. You're what? But I actually have this hanging up in my crib. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Okay? Don't worry about, about anything, anything, but pray, pray, about, pray about everything. Pray about everything. Can you say straight? Straight. See? <laughs> that was a good positive note. Don't you worry about shrimp? anything. I got that hanging in my crib. Don't pray worry about, about anything, but pray about everything. There's no need to worry if you're praying. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's Philippians 4, 6. I have that hanging in my crib. Can you say strawberry? Strawberry. <laughs> Would you like me to say strong, stripper? Huh? Does that make I you happy? It. Yeah, it's incredible. It's the South Carolina, Carolina Amy. You have a great day, guys.